This video will demonstrate the steps to completing a damaged trace repair using the dry film method. The highlighted section of the circuit path will be replaced. The procedure begins by selecting the correct size for the replacement circuit trace. Compare the existing trace with a dry film adhesive frame. The replacement circuit should be as close as possible to the size of the original circuit. Isolate and remove the damaged section of the circuit path. Carefully cut through the trace using an X-Acto knife at a 45 degree angle. When the trace has been severed, gently lift up the end of the trace to allow for easier removal of the damaged section of the circuit trace. Use a soldering iron to heat the section of the trace to be removed. Grasp the trace with tweezers and gently lift it from the PCB. In order to allow the new trace to be soldered in place, the solder resist must be removed from the remaining circuit trace. Scrape the resist from approximately 2 mm at each end of the circuit trace. Clean the area with a stiff bristled brush and isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the area with a lint-free cloth to remove excess alcohol and debris. Turn the circuit replacement frame over, exposing the dry film side of the frame. Scrape away several millimeters of the dry adhesive to allow for soldering to the remaining circuit path. From the top side of the circuit replacement frame, cut out the replacement trace. Flux and tin the replacement trace at both ends. Flux and tin the remaining circuit trace on the PCB. Remove the excess solder using soldering wick. Clean the area with a stiff bristled brush and isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the area with a lint-free cloth. Use polyimid tape to assist in aligning the replacement trace with the remaining circuit path on the PCB. Polyimid tape is heat resistant and will not leave a harmful residue on the circuit board when the tape is removed. Temporarily tack the replacement trace in place. The tinning on the replacement trace and the circuit path will be sufficient to hold the trace in place for the next step in the process. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for heating and activating the dry adhesive. In this video, your instructor is using a soldering iron to activate the dry adhesive.
using flux and solder, affix the replacement trace into place. Note that your instructor is using a dental pick to ensure a flat, full contact of the replacement trace to the circuit path. Clean the area with a stiff bristled brush and isopropyl alcohol. Wipe the area clean with a lint-free cloth. Peel away the polyimid tape. This repair is now complete. Solder resist and PCB finish may be added as desired.